All right, uh, let's get started with model up simulin, control symptom and power symptom for some basic content. The first thing is for you to determine the purpose of uh, why you want to learn model up, want to learn control symptom and power symptom. Uh, how much time, how much uh, money, any kind of resources you want, you, you have, and you want to put on this. And after this, after all these training, what do you want to achieve? What skill do you want to have for your job, for your hobby, whatever? That's, that's for you personally to decide. Um, that's okay. So next is about the software, the hardware, or what you need for this kind of training. So for now, it's for hardware, I mean it's a laptop or it's a PC which you yield to uh, run MATLAB, to read papers, do some simulation. So for now, it's still safer to do Intel over AMD. I actually love AMD, but uh, before they have some problem with uh, MATLAB, it's not so optimized, but now uh, you have some good news. Okay, so first, so first, you have to decide which version of MATLAB you want, to, uh, and you have to use. Like in my case, before uh, we work with uh, at Open IT Lab, so they only support the maximum version is 2017B. So I have to stick to that version. I don't know for your case. Yeah, so follow this link. So you have all the detail about which version you you want to choose. For example, in my case, this one for Windows because I'm using Windows. Uh, you have everything here. They require which version of operating system with processors. With the space, with ROM you want, they require to have or recommend to have. Alright. The second thing is like it for some people, they they want to do some intensive uh, simulation, very large system, like in. In power system, you have uh, 1000 buses, 20 machines, something like that. So you have to take a look at this link. So here, for you to to decide how to do uh, the computer to run your system. That's all they cover the operating system. The hardware for your cases, memory and so on. Uh, and you can use the benchmark to check your current laptop to meet your need or not. But uh, for the beginner, you can take anything, like a just meet the, the basic need of the system requirement here. Depends on your version, your MATLAB versions. 
uh, for okay I provide some wood new for the one who love AMD is like in my case here they provide this test to compare between the an Intel CPU with two CPU of AMD and also but this is only confirmed for the version of model of 2028 which is older version maybe you have the same problem like in the past and here the same so check it out yourself the next thing is the um, related tool and toolbox for you. not for you but for this training so if you want to know something about our system using my lab simulator you have to for sure you have to know how to use SimScape special live power system to here they cover everything it's like a library for you rather than you have to move to build a model of uh, for example the motors and generators yourself they provide and you just put the parameters and it's work it's the same for other things one more thing this one is is compatible for many related tools like open Artilab and so on they, they also have another version of this but it's also called simscap but uh, for power system you should stick on this this library specialized power system Next thing is uh, the tool for control system. So in in Simon Lab they on they already have some, but it's, it's not like the way you use it. It really weird. So here I suggest that you should use Yami. It kind of builds the. Uh, environment for the solver LMI which you use later if you follow my, uh, my courses and the two are the uh, solver for sure just, just you most it. this one is this much better than uh, this one because it's uh, it's industry light this is a commercial software but it's free for academic so if you have a, an email uh, which you uh, like a school email you can uh, ask them for a license for one year or something like that and after that you can renew okay let's take a look So this is I mean, this is about uh, many many things uh, concerning the the uh, matrix inequality, and you can have some fun with it when you are comfortable with this kind of stuff. Uh, they have many solvers, so. Here they have uh, some recommended installation for solvers. In our case, we will show the semi-definite stuff like a linear matrix inequality. So we will focus on this. This one and this one is is. Uh, Kind of good, but it's kind of old. So 
so better to stick to the best all right next uh, okay there's a good news for the beginner so now matlab they have uh, tutorial is free and it's here so they have uh, two courses for now it's for matlab in general and simile okay let's see It's uh, actually it's like a so they have some overview here. You can follow this course. So it's actually it's like a the the web based MATLAB person. So you just follow instruction and it's exactly here, like in MATLAB you have uh, the workspace this size for your tasks and here just for, for example here they require you to calculate this and just follow the instruction so for the beginner it's, it's quite nice to have something like this and for those don't have MATLAB you have the the asset to the MATLAB license. You can use this. Okay, so for the official documents, you have the getting started with MATLAB. I suggest. I strongly. Do. Believe that this one is the best one for you to follow because if you follow any courses of any other document, this might be not up to date, like if not uh, suitable for your version, because different version of up, they will change a little bit. And for sure, it's better to stick to the official document. For me, it's, it's, it's really clear and concise. And it will save you lots of time to, to handle stuff. Yeah, so for, for checking the information about MATLAB, function and so on, you should stick on the official document especially for the beginner uh, it's the same for here you have more document, they have everything this is a little bit too much for beginner but there are some people that already have some knowledge so this one is for you so depend on your purpose, maybe you want to have some object-oriented programming or if you want to only focus on the 3D virtualization uh, for publication, as, uh, for example. For example, uh, as the people, they, they want to focus on the, the server of the map, like uh, you want to have a better result, the more accuracy and so on. This is where you want to to check. Okay, so for for many people I I believe that for many people they would Want to forget on simply. So again, just uh, they have some 
nice thing with Simulink here for the document but for uh, the uh, tutorial just for along the the previous courses here all right uh, next thing is the help center it's only the documentation on MATLAB the sibling and toolbox yeah for example control system you have uh, many toolbox here depends on your case you want FPC you want general control system you want fuzzy predictive robust control and so on So check it out, depends on your cases. Uh, for those who have access to MATLAB and you want to go a, bit, a little bit uh, faster or you want to have uh, some nice tutorial, go for YouTube. This guy, the red, the have quite a nice uh, a short tutorial for very short, it's just like a one hour and seven, uh, 17 minutes and he, he covered nearly everything of my life. So it's, it's quite nice and it's faster for beginner like a force. Many of us we just focus on part of MATLAB, and this is the basic. So you need to spend like the ten hour, ten day, ten weeks to just learn the basic thing. But here, yeah. all right. Um, it is same for the next code. It's a bit longer, but for me, it's, I think it's, this one is. Uh, a little bit better, but it's a little bit uh, too many things for some people. So check it out. So as I said, for me and my friend, and I I also believe for you if you. You want to develop something large and so on. I, that's, in that case, you have to spend lots of time on my But for most of us, just focus on uh, the basic thing and don't spend lots of time on this because you, for sure, you will forget many things if you don't use that. So just spend probably just two to four hours to learn the basic stuff. Yeah. Go directly to the the main the main things which you help you uh, practice because that thing you want to use for the next month, next year, next project. So you will repeat that. So for sure, it's, it's better to focus on that part. As the um, resources for control system. So here is some basic books you should have. I, again, I don't recommend you to read all the stuff in this book. But you should have this book in case like a, you need to check something out. There are some uh, problem you don't fully understand and this book will provide it. That is like a dictionary. Use that like a dictionary. Don't use that like a notebook because it's will cost you a couple months to to digest all of this. You shouldn't. And you, you won't use it anyway. And for those who want to learn about control system, 
check out the two courses from MIT. It's, it's, it's quite nice and it's really fast. For me, it's, it's really short. So it's covered nearly everything about the base system, control system, <coughs> fundamental control system. From <coughs> the base, basic uh, root locus, frequency uh, domain, how to design uh, the controller using both laws and so on. And also, you have state space here. You have uh, you will, uh, this one will help you to understand a little bit how to design the system, how to model in the system in state space and in frequency domain. And also it's, it's provide a nice thing. This one. It's the first step for you to to see how op, optimal control work. They also provide a little bit of uh, knowledgeness system, so it's nice and it's quite short. Quite short. Uh, so check it out. Uh, and the next one is for it is nearly the same, it doesn't cover everything, but it's nice because it's your MATLAB and simply. And here you have. Anything. I got for some guys from uh, robot uh, field, robotics field. You would like to control this, the motors. And here they have motor speed, motor position. And guy from uh, automobile and automobile service and so on. You have crew control and the pencil. They also have a crop bit. And they provide nearly everything for you here from modeling analysis. A basic PID control and related things. They also have the siblings version of these stuff, so really nice for beginner and even for the I would say for the the one who already have some some knowledge about these fields. The last thing is for power system. It's for power system is is a bit uh, hard to cover everything. But here uh, I provide some books. You maybe you want something else. I don't know. It depends on your cases. Uh, or for the last book is it's like a dictionary. So again, use the books like a dictionary because, for example, in my field, it's a part of power system. It's power electronic for power system. It's power converters. So for sure, I, I won't use any all of this, but part of this. So I only check out like one chapter or two chapters. I don't want to spend uh, my whole year PhD to just read these books. And for our electronics, this is for my field. So a power converter. Um, this is really nice book because. Uh, the author he provide everything for you uh, step by step you will understand how the Swiss system work how the average model which is popular use in power converter to control the system but uh, they have also use cases use case for um, better control and so on
so I also in the future I also provide some insight into this because for this book they didn't provide the simulation and I create the simula some simulations uh, some models for uh, for the use case inside this book and uh, that's all for the the basic stuff of uh, my lab of simulating of control system and power system okay, see you